morning. My name is Jenica and welcome to another vlog. These are my favorite vlogs, okay? At the end of the day, these are my favorite vlogs. So just cozy, homey, productive vlogs, okay? We live, I feel, I feel like I don't say this a ton, but we live in Franklin, Tennessee. It is about 20 minutes outside of Nashville. Hey, Tuna. So we are finally putting together a uh, video for like a, a perfect day in Nashville. And cause we get questions all the time of things to do when people come to Nashville for vacation. And I never thought about doing a Franklin one. So I'm starting to have some wheels turn in because I know people do come to Franklin for vacation as well. Anyway, so that's what I was really getting organized this morning. And I feel like we had a good little session, a little work session. Sometimes it's just my work from home girlies now. Like, Sometimes it's easier to get things done when you're just outside of your own space. So, I did not write enough about this in the last video when I was unboxing it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I just, I will say, I just didn't love the like bulkiness of the Stanley with all the whatever. I just am obsessed with this. It's leak proof. It keeps things cold for literally what 24 hours i don't know it's so and just the one color sleekness up uh, i'm obsessed i've been putting a little bit of lemon in here as well i just it's so 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 good also my knee is better <laughs> my knee is doing better than it was for sure for sure i think i just must have like caught something or strained something and we're back in business now so actually i did do some workout and i filmed a little bit yesterday so i'll insert those clips here and then we will see you again we're back I am now going to do a little HelloFresh for lunch today we switched it up with HelloFresh I usually get the vegetarian ones but this time we got some with meat in them because I've not been as freaked out lately I just my it, it comes and goes but pork chops are one of the things I've mentioned before that just don't freak me out so I'm very excited about this I love pork chops my mom used to make the best freaking pork chops so hopefully these will be as good as hers and we have Brussels sprouts and we have, I love when Brussels sprouts and apples, like I think those are two flavors that go together so well. I think it's because like the vinegar and stuff and that I put, anyway, I'm very excited about this and mashed potatoes. What a perfect, perfect, perfect side. And it says that all of this is only going to take me 35 minutes to cook. So I'm very excited about that as well because I'm hungry after that workout and I want to put something good and healthy and something that I cooked into my body now so very excited about this one this one is the brown sugar and bourbon pork chops and it has all of the in instructions listed out in picture form back here which is so freaking helpful because i just prop that up and most of the time i just look at the pictures and go it's they're so easy i'm also eating some pineapple as i cook because this is some of the best pineapple i've ever had i got it at the fresh market last week when we went mm, so good let's get started i was so happy that we had a hello fresh coming this week because that means less grocery shopping for me and these just like don't take up any room in my fridge like this is a whole home cooked meal and they just barely take up any space okay so this week we've got the brussels sprouts oh i didn't know you're gonna be doing all that looks like for the mashed potatoes we're making homemade mashed potatoes fun we've got an apple we have some fresh chives. Look at these. I love these little pre-portioned ingredients because this is exactly how much you're gonna need in this recipe. The chicken stock, some brown sugar, and then some sour cream. And last but not least, the pork chop. Hello 
DoorDash now has 40 weekly recipes to choose from so you can say bye to your recipe rut and treat yourself and your family to new exciting flavors every week. Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up restaurant quality meals right in your own kitchen with meals ready quicker than delivery. You'll only find quality ingredients in HelloFresh recipes. In fact, ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know they're fresh. I just remembered that I actually have a honey from a previous HelloFresh that I accidentally got two honey packs in. So I'm gonna use this honey and put it over the Brussels sprouts. Now, to you, these may be a little crispy, but to me, they're perfect. I love my Brussels to be so crispy and almost like little leaves. Okay, I don't wanna take my own horn here, but this might be some of my best work yet. Look at that, look at that. Now, I'm not a fan of scallions, so mine doesn't have scallions. Annika will, when she gets back, um, have scallions on hers, but Look at this, you guys. Yum! I am such a sauce girl, so I took the sauce that we made over the pork chops and put it aside and I'm gonna dip it. I like to build a bite, you know? I'm gonna get a little potato, a little apple, and, did I miss the apple? A little apple and some pork chop. Give her a little dip. And we'll What was so good? Is it just, I mean, that's perfectly done. Whoa, whoa. I mean, it just keeps getting better. No, these guys, I did end up putting some honey, I said, and a tiny bit of balsamic. Mm. I could cry. I could really cry. Y'all. This is so good. I need to give y'all a code, but I literally, I have to go demolish that. That was truly incredible. I'm not kidding. That is one of my favorite HelloFresh meals that I've ever made. And I have been making these since like 2018. So love that one. I do of course have a code you guys can use if you've not tried HelloFresh yet. For 60% off plus free shipping, use code Jenica60. That is hellofresh.com forward slash Jenica60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Whew, okay, I have been obsessed. I found some new YouTubers lately because I was just like caught up with all my girls and I needed like to new, some new binge worthy people to watch. Shayla Quinn is so fun. You know that I like, I, I just, get drawn to the New York vloggers. Like I love just seeing life in New York. And so, because it's gonna be me very soon, hopefully. Very soon is in like a year and a half. But regardless, I have loved, she has them all set, all of her New York vlogs set in a playlist. And it starts with the very first vlog of like her like randomly going to see her friend and deciding that she's moving to New York. And then it just goes from like her finding an apartment, her moving, her getting settled in. And now she's been there for like, a year, I guess, I don't know. But it is so, so fun to watch. I am almost to her Vlogmas, so, I, but I've started watching um, like her recent ones now, so this one was just uploaded. And it is just so fun. She um, was a yoga instructor, and she has also a podcast called The Yoga Inspired Life that I've also been listening to. So, and then like, she has a great, she does awesome reels on Instagram, so I feel like <laughs> she's been on every like platform of mine for, the past couple weeks and I have just loved her positivity and she's like me with like romanticizing everything and really making like if you're gonna have to do the laundry let's romanticize it let's 
put our kombucha in a wine glass and let's have some music playing. Like, that's just what life's about. So I really enjoyed watching her. And then also, let me find my other girl because I just started watching her recently and I've watched like literally six of her videos in a row. And I was like, is she talking to me? Alexis Sparks. Alexis Sparks. I honestly, like all six of the videos I watched in a row, I'm not kidding. I felt like we were on the, like it was a direct, to me, like I just, I'm really, really working on my, I really need to sit down and like talk about what I put on my vision board and like how I'm getting to those goals this year because I'm just really, really working on myself hard right now. And I feel like finding these people that are equally excited about life and just trying to become really strong, even stronger women, it's fun. So those are two people, I need to just do like a whole, video about i actually was watching my fam today and she cooked a hello fresh so i was like girl i'm doing that later obviously i love daniel carolyn and amanda pulitano and anna i love their whole little friend group so fun let me see some other new york vloggers that i watch oh my god i love sometimes i feel like <laughs> should i be watching these girls because i'm like 10 years older than them but um hannah elise hannah ma is her last name she her vlogs are so good like i learned so much from her and they're just so like pleasing to watch and very calming she's a great one let's see of course anna like of course anna margot lee i love watching hers hers are so calming calming and aesthetic let's see these are literally just my like new york people that i watch who else is a new york girly if y'all have anybody else that i should watch please let me know i feel like i need to watch like more girls my age not my, like I love I watch everybody but I kind of want to watch women that don't really necessarily have babies I'm sorry I love your babies but I'm just not needing to know like your diaper changing schedule because that I have been there done that and I'm ready to not talk about formula with you, you know what I mean so I want to find girls that maybe we'll just do a whole video about who I watch and then you'll tell me from there okay what is next? I, I'm gonna have to definitely do some work for a little bit and I'm gonna plate Annika's plate and go ahead and just stick it in the microwave. That way she she's gonna about to be home and she can just um, heat it up and scarf that down as well. I, I, I'm looking at one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, you guys. This has never happened. This has never happened. Hi. Hi. Both the you are in there. Weasel. Are you cuddling with Mertz? Let's see. Are you cuddling with Mertz? This has just literally never happened. Usually Mertz would be out of there. Okay, I worked for a little bit, did some laundry, and now it is about 6.30. It's pitch black outside. I know we're getting close to the end of these dark afternoons basically, but I mean, it's just, look at it. Just black, nighttime. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna take tunes on a little walk. We're not gonna do our big like, I feel like I normally do like three or four miles when I go on like a big walk, but otherwise I just like, when I did, since I did 12 through 30 today, I'll probably just do like a mile, which is usually like 20 or 30 minutes for me. So we're gonna go walk, you ready? Let's go. still here he he might love that thing more than he loves me and Annika I'm not kidding he he every time you walk by he jumps up and screams like you have to play with me on this thing right now he can't get up like Annika literally was like I'm gonna go down to storage and get the wall color and just paint it <laughs> the same color as the wall so we don't have to get rid of it and I was like that seems like a little much for something that I thought was just a fun little you know here you love boxes here's this box and he just really took that to heart so new bags there we go i did also get this we're really working on our leash training because luna's luna's just been a little spicy these days 
She doesn't like not like other dogs. She really doesn't like small dogs at all. At all. Which is a liar. She did get attacked by a chihuahua at a dog park like at the beginning of quarantine and she's just been like not the same dog ever since. Honestly, that little f sorry, <laughs> brought blood to her and she just like laid there like please don't hurt me. And she's just like not vibed with the small dogs ever since. She like kind of freaks out. So like I really want to get her like really good on a leash before we move to New York freaking city. And she like, I, I want her to be, she didn't do great with this move. Like she did, it did take her a few weeks to get adjusted. So like, I don't want to bring any additional stress to her and like leash pulling is not going to be able to be a thing. So I have these little training treats. I've been watching TikToks. I've been listening to podcasts. I've been watching YouTube videos of trying to like self train, but I really think that I do. She, like I said, she's doing really good and I'm doing really good, but I only know so much and I only know what like I can learn from the internet. And I feel like I might need to bring a professional in. If you do know anybody in Franklin or Nashville or even like Murfreesboro, let me know. But I think I might need some professional help just to really get them like really get her perfectly leash trained and to like educate me for like dogs that I might have in the future, you know? So anyway, this has been a huge help. I do like attach her leash onto my fanny pack always um because that just makes me be able to be hands free when we're not near anybody but then when we are i still just kind of like hold her leash kind of closer by and then this is my little training treat bag i keep this just clipped right on the side of my fanny pack too and that way when other dogs and things are walking by we have treats that we can just distract um because she is very like food driven so if i like pull out a treat she don't care if there's 500 dogs around anyway don't touch her, okay? She She's doing really good and she's learning, but she has just been kind of grumpy lately. I don't know what it is. What, what's up? Okay, come on, we can go. Ready? Made some homemade ramen with some fun peach tea that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm loving. I'm, and I'm also just still obsessed with our bowls. Jake Paul. Lost to Tommy Fury! Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Us. Wow. Us, we guessed. You know who did guess? Drake. Drake. <laughs> Drake guess. Not our Drake, actual, actual champagne poppy champagne Drake. Poppy. We are back home. I worked for a while. We got back and then did some chores around the house and I'm going to have some oatmeal before I take Tuna on a walk and do a little workout. One for fun, one for energy, one for hydration, always. shower and you guys I showed this in last vlog I got it from Target I saw it on TikTok and I think YouTube as well oh my god I have been loving it it smells so divine it smells so so good they also have a Santal one that I really want to try but this one's the pink beach and I am obsessed I got it at Target these are my other two faves for body wash I really really like those that, that Olay one smells so divine it's a great like creamy consistency but then the necessary is like eucalyptus and y'all know how I feel about eucalyptus, but truly this one I cannot recommend enough. Hi precious boy, are you just waking up? Are you just waking up? Oh, did you give kisses? Good morning. <laughs> Your eyes are not even open, boy. Tonight I'm actually doing a previous HelloFresh recipe that we just 
love, love, love. It's the barbecue chicken pizza. I'm, I'm sorry, it is the barbecue pineapple pizza. And it is just so freaking good, you guys. It really is. So we're gonna recreate that tonight. these gorgeous barbecue pineapple pizzas. I did throw on some of the banana peppers that we had, but I'm telling you, this was the last of that pineapple from the fresh market and it was the best pineapple I've ever had. She is still preheating, but we're gonna go and toss her in. I have always used kitchen scissors cut my pizzas Let me make it home. I think I just never had a like, cut pizza cutter. And this works just as fine. Okay, taste test, let's go. AJ, do you wanna do the taste test with me? What? You wanna do the taste test with me? Yeah. Okay, AJ wants to go. Hurry! I'm ready. Ranch, obviously. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Every time. I mean, well, the banana peppers are a good addition. Mm -hmm. I got a bite with the banana peppers and the top notch. It's so easy. You can do so many different variations. Like sometimes I'll put the pineapples. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I'll put the pineapples like on a saucepan with some. Um, barbecue and like marinate them almost first. This time I just threw them straight on the pizza and baked it like that and it was so good. Like it is such a good, easy. I use barbecue sauce as the sauce, mozzarella cheese, pineapples, banana peppers, olive oil, and then sprinkled some Parmesan cheese over the top. Whoa. Hello you guys, it is the next day. We are out running some errands now. Currently in Franklin, look how cute she is. I went on a date there with one time with a guy. How fun is that? Okay, anyway. So, we are picking up some things today. I'm going to see my bestie Kathleen this weekend and her new baby, Elizabeth. So, I want to get, um, I got Elizabeth a little present, but I want to pick up Kathleen a little something too. And I also want to, I mean, I can't bring Elizabeth something and not bring her other little boy, John, something. So, I also want to grab something for John. And I have been needing one of my favorite candles ever from White's Mercantile. So, I'm going to run in and get that. And I'm hoping that I can find something for John there. I'm again the passenger princess. Oh, I love, look at this shirt. We gotta show you the, like the whole thing, but it is so cute. She got it at the ESPN World wide, of Sports. Wide World, world of Sports. <laughs> and on the back it says like legends made here, born here or yeah. something. It's really cute. So let's go have ourselves a day. Annika looked at me and said, should we get Kilwins? And I said, the always yes. we absolutely should get Kilwins. Mm -hmm. So Kilwins Hall. I got, I always get Franklin Mud, but this one is s'mores and it is so good. There are chunks of Look chocolate. Look at the turtle. Oh, it's not going to focus on but it, But you can it? see the little design. So yeah. This one's got chunks, chunks of chocolate, marshmallow swirl, and chunks of graham cracker as well. So good. Oh, and then Annika got, I got a new one. I got Kilwins Turtle Cheesecake. And it's exclusive only. I don't know what for, but it is. And it is delightful. It has vanilla ice cream with caramel and pecans and turtle, little turtle candies. And chunk so, of cheesecake. I haven't gotten a chunk of cheesecake well, maybe yet. Maybe is the ice cream flavored cheesecake? I, I think so. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's gotcha. That is. And then you also got um, some no, no. freshly made. Freshly dipped strawberries. They hadn't even put the stripes on them yet. And Anna was like, it's fine. It is okay. fine. So... We were just so in sync. It kind of just took me by surprise. <laughs> but yeah, I got three little strawberries I can snack on Chocolate tonight. Chocolate strawberries! Okay, next Erin. We're at Target. What did, What are we here for? I actually do have a list. I don't necessarily have anything I need to get at Target. Okay. I don't think. I need st a stuff for my Mardi Gras party tomorrow. Please be gotcha. okay, okay, okay. We'll just come Just because you never know, and they do in fact have a local high school sweatshirt on. Oh yeah. Smarty party. It was a cute boy. 
He was not cute, but just it said Sparty Party, and I gotta put it away just in case. You're just baiting your cereal over there. Okay. Can I bring it up? Is it safe? Yeah, you're good. If we like the flowers in there, that you put that on the list. Yeah, flowers, yeah. They do have um, good flowers in here every now and then. Swifter, liquid solution stuff yes. and pads. Yes. I need both of those. We probably need to look into getting something a little bit more environmentally friendly than Swifter. We tried. Just let us know. We did. We did. The vacuum, remember? Oh, yeah. We vacuum. did. We truly we, did try. We and need it was to so, actually. It was so good. I need to do six chains. I need to figure that yeah, out. Okay. So. And then I bought a little single of like plain toothbrushes for in case people spend the night ever and need them. And I just. Jaden does spend the night and need it a lot, and I'd throw away her last toothbrush because it was gross. So I need okay, to get the okay. toothbrush holders to put it in once I use it so it doesn't get gross. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, I got the cat's couple food yesterday. Gotcha. I want to get snacks for tomorrow while people are getting ready at the house. Okay. Just quick little snacks. Okay. And then I need one of the closet things that hangs and gets all the moisture out of your closet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's what I need. Okay, that's like a good target list. Yeah, it's a great target stay list. Let's to that list. Okay. It does look like there are some fun, better options for mopping and things. I, do I want to replace my whole thing now? Hmm. Okay, so quick haul from today. These are some of the things we got from Target. Annika was able to find those like toothbrush caps. <laughs> and then she's got friends coming over to get ready for a party later this week. So she wanted to pick up some snacks to have in her room for them. And then we ended up going with the Swifter. I do want to look at like replacing the whole shebang. So if you guys have any recommendations of one of those sustainable ones that you saw, let me know if you like any of them. But I just wanted to be able to kind of do a little bit more research before I'd like replace the whole thing. Bless you, Tunes. And then I got John, okay, at White's, mercantile i got i got john this cute little red tractor oh hey mertz and i think that he's gonna love it it's so 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 cute and it's like the perfect size and he can kind of like carry it around with him so i love that but when we were at target i saw this little fire truck puzzle and he's into fire trucks right now so i went ahead and grabbed this as well but also at white's i was finally able to find my favorite candle they've been out the last few times I've gone and I didn't have one at the one in Nashville we went to the other day. So I was so excited to find it. And then, oh, lastly, Kathleen, I've not seen her since she literally birthed a human. So I wanted to get her a little gift. I got her this lazy Sunday morning replica candle. It smells so good. And I also got her my favorite lip gloss in the whole entire world. So I am very excited. And that is everything we got on our errands. Hello, friends. Okay, we have a little bit of a change in plans i was actually going to do aj and i's nails tonight because we both have pretty fun weekends ahead of us but school got canceled and so she went to a friend's house they ended up having a little it was one of her friend's birthdays and so she was like well i'm just gonna have hello people spend the night because there are storms <laughs> if you can't tell so they got out of school for severe weather tomorrow it's just supposed to be tornado watches like all day long this time of year in tennessee is so scary because the weather just is so hot one day and so cold the next it just creates the craziest storms so she's she's made it to her friend's house and she's there for the night and there's there's a few of them spend the night there so um, they're gonna have fun but i instead decided to take a shower and now i'm ready for bed so oh my god i have been using this elemis pro what is it pro collagen marine cream it is so luscious you guys look at this let me let me get a little come here look at that look at that it's so luxurious wow it's definitely a lot lighter than my tatcha one so they do serve different purposes but i like to switch up my tatcha ones when i know i need like a big hydration reset kind of and like a hydration treat i guess and then this one has become my like every day so don't forget your neck and your hands okay well that is all for this vlog we like i said we do have a fun weekend ahead and we are vlogging so i will see you very soon i hope you have a wonderful day go buy yourself some flowers go do your skincare routine take care of yourself this weekend i love you and i will see you in the next one bye